Welcome back to the post game show here. Wow, what a fourth. Huge lead for the Hornets. And we called it here when we saw Laura Katarzynski sub into the game. I said, that firecracker wants this set right now. And she went back and sure enough, changed the entire dynamic of that game. She did. She certainly got us going with a great serving run where she just, I mean, it was one ball, one zone, I should say, and really got us back into it. And then I think we all took a sigh of relief when KJ came in mm -hmm. because that had been scoring. And I was kicking myself for not starting her in left front. And she got us going, I mean, big time. I don't know how many yeah. she kills she had in just that set alone, but uh, she went off. So that service run by Laura and KJ scoring like crazy, which is everybody. Like, that's not just KJ. Daisy's dishing it well. Mm -hmm. um, we're digging balls in that run yes. to keep it going so that KJ could get the ball in good situations. Yes, yeah, some great diving kill, uh, plays there by Taylor Ells. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine kills in that, in that set, one set and lone for KJ, yeah. 20 on the night. She has 343 for the regular season right now with more games to play in the postseason. I feel like Kelly Arnold's record of 455 is going to fall. It, it just might. She's it probably kills. depends on how many matches we have left. True, 22 kills away. So, yes, I mean, I think that that's pretty doable. Also, 90 assists for Daisy, and she will have the single season record as well after this game where she comes away with 51 assists on the night. Uh, Laura Katarzynski, I, again, volleyball is such a game of team and chemistry, and sometimes the energy you bring out can make an entire difference. And that was an example of that. Well, in that energy, I thought our home court was awesome tonight. Mm -hmm. The crowd was into it. They were a factor in the match tonight, which was awesome to send our last match, you know, or send our senior off on that match to have such an impact from the crowd tonight. I am so sad I don't get to go with you guys next week or I get <laughs> to call any more games this season. It has been tremendous honor to be here with you guys again and especially to see what is the best volleyball I've seen since I've been working here and certainly maybe since 2014 when the Bears took it all. I, I would agree. I think we're our chemistry is as good as I've ever had as a coach, that they are just they're on the same page right now mm -hmm. and can withstand. I think we were down 16 to 6. That doesn't bother them. Like whether that goes to a fifth set or whether that ends up in the fourth set, I like how our team responds to those situations. Well, CC freshman coming up big tonight mm -hmm. as well. CC Hewn having three blocks and Harris getting a chance to get in the d game. She's coming away hitting 364, um, leading right now for per hitting percentage for the Bears. Uh, if you count out KJ's 385. So Harris really coming in and being great on the pins. Um, the Bears having so much depth to be able to make that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Jaden was doing a good job, but we just know we're going to need that depth come tournament mm -hmm. time. And so Kinsey, or yeah, Kinsey hasn't played in a little bit. We thought if it's going to be equal, let's give Kinsey some play time so that we have everybody come tournament time. Yeah, and I love that Jaden doesn't seem to let that impact her mental game. Oh, absolutely not. She just, She's she, very mature. Yeah, it does whatever um, you ask her to do. So in the offseason, you guys made some changes a little bit in the coaching staff, and maybe that was just player, uh, coaches getting a chance to get to what, – what, what has Coach P.E. brought to this team this season? Well, calmness. The maturity that you see from our team, I would say, is a direct result of his maturity on the bench. And sometimes he's saying, we just got to ride the wave. We just got to ride the wave, where I would normally probably get a little bit too uptight. And so him being relaxed, if we got this, it's okay that we're down – just play better longer has been really a big theme. We don't have to play better. We just got to play better longer. Um, and so that comes from him. So a lot of credit goes to just his demeanor and his um, experience on the bench that doesn't get frazzled. Well, that's really playing and coming to the place tonight where the Bears in just the first set alone, 13 errors, ended with just yeah. 24 total hitting errors on the night. So only bringing back another 11 over the next three sets. What's well, part of the reason the Bears are able to win? Yes, and it was part of the reason we lost in the first set. But to give up 13 hitting errors, yeah. you're not going to win sets against a good team unless they also match you with that many errors. So, we, yeah, we got to be better to start matches. I don't know if we were – we weren't flat. We were almost maybe over-anxious and tight. And so we got to address that a little bit going into the tournament, mm -hmm. that we don't feel the pressure. We yeah. just got to stay relaxed because that's what's – uh, got us in this position. Well, have you figured out yet who you guys are playing, who that eighth seed is? Those games are still all it, winding up tonight. It we might know, but I don't know personally. Okay. So it's either going to be Montana or Portland State. If Montana won tonight, that's who we play. If Montana lost tonight, we play Portland State. But I all haven't right. looked at scores. All right. Well, next week, Pluto TV is going to have those games for you starting Thanksgiving Day. So make sure you turn in, enjoy your turkey, and enjoy your Big Sky Volleyball. Support your Bears. It's been a great season, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next year. Thank you, Coach. Good Thank luck. You.